Hi, on this setup video, we're going to show you how to set up the Cash Pro for one of the six different models that you can use. Okay, we're going to do step one right here. And anytime you do setup with the Cash Pro, you always do step one, step two, and step three, all three steps. Okay, because the first step resets everything else. Okay, so I'm going to tap on step one. In this video, we're going to talk about raising the item prices for card payment. Okay, that's called the red model. And the inventory is going to be the original cash price. And we're not going to modify the inventory at all. This is really popular with restaurants, with retail, where you have thousands of items. And anyone who really just wants to leave when they check out, they want that process to include the card price. This model only works with a register plan and above. Uh, we do have a version that will work with register light. And you should uh, email us help at appheaven.us and ask us about the plan that works with register light. If you really need it, we do have that, but it's mainly made for register plan or above. Okay. If you have multiple devices, then you want to do this setup, um, a few of these steps on every single device. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. You choose raise item prices for card. That's a red model. Okay. And then you enter the setup code. That code is 8675309, like the song. Okay. Don't give this code out. We want people to watch this video and get the code. The reason is simply for your own help. We want to make sure you know what you're doing so you can best serve your business and make it the, you know, the, the best, smoothest uh, process for your business as they transition. Okay. 8675309. You tap done. Yes. Raise prices and card. That's a sanity check. Okay. Just make sure you know what you're doing. Then you put in the percent of the price raise that you want to do for card payment. I'm going to do 3.99. Just to show you can do up to double decimals right here. 4.00 is totally fine also. Okay, I'm going to type done. Okay, now see after you do the step one, you're going to see a pop-up saying complete action using cash card or payments. You want to choose cash card and you always want to choose this button that says always. Okay, right there like that. Okay, and that step right there, if you have multiple devices, you're going to do that same setup uh, where you choose cash card always one time on every single device. So if you own four clovers, you want to, when you, when you open the app, it's going to ask you, please choose cash card always. And you're going to choose that, uh, that action. Um, and you must do it on every device at least one time. And uh, so just want to make sure you know that. So that's how you do step one. Step two, you're choosing the features you need. Okay. A counter service restaurant would be the type where there's tipping, but no order bills required. Sit down restaurant would be where you have tipping and order bills. And again, order bills are bills you print out before the payment. Retail, you don't need tips and you don't need order bills. It's a little simpler. Retail plus snap. This would involve a snap, a setup of EBT, which is a separate video. Okay. You don't need um, payments only or the setup code. You really don't need this. Most people for most setups, it's either counter service, sit down or retail. Okay. I'm going to choose sit down, which includes tipping and print order bills set up already done for you. Okay. That's step two. Step three, you're choosing your Clover hardware. Okay. If you have four devices and at least one of them is a duo, choose the blue. If none of them are a duo, then choose the green. Okay. You're rarely going to need a swivel. This is really, if you have like, it's called a poor man's duo. If you have a mini and it's sitting on a towel or on a swivel so that you can turn it to face the customer. So uh, this just sets up some specific setup for the swivel use. Uh, most people don't need it. Almost always you're going to use the blue or the green. I'm going to use the blue because we have a duo. Okay. And that's the complete setup. Step one, two, and three. Now, just so you know, under this little gear right here, okay, there are a lot of other options that you could set. We don't recommend you set those without talking to us. So if you need more than the basic setup, please reach out and we can help you understand how to do that more. There's also a guided setup under Customize, Advanced Setup right here. This will give you only the options that are available for the red model, okay? So we recommend at the least, if you're going to set things up, to use the uh, Customize and the Advanced Setup. Okay, I'm going to show you one last thing. If you are doing like a sit-down restaurant, then you use what's called an order bill, and you have order bill options, okay? And you can set it for QR code for payments. Uh, you can include a magic print button which, um, you know, which I'll show you. It's just a little, um, a little button that, that floats that you can move around and it'll let you print the order bill without having to use the category called print options that we normally do. 
Okay, but all this is really unnecessary. You only need to do step one, step two, and step three for almost all installs. Okay, that's all you need. And so that's the setup. Let me show you how to use it. You go, let's say, to the register or the dining app. Okay, see, this is the, still the card price of an item. You can add as many items as you want. By the way, here's the magic print button. Okay, if you chose to en enable it, you can drag it. See, if you slowly move it, you can move it any way you want. Okay, and that will let you basically choose to print the bill in various ways with, before you choose to hit the pay button, which is really important for sit-down restaurants, okay? But I'm gonna hit pay. When I hit pay, I can choose cash or card. I'm gonna choose the card price, okay? See, the price of the item went up, okay? Now, but let's say the customer changes their mind and they wanna pay with cash. Down here, there's a button that says cash card. You tap it, and you basically can make the choice all over again. So we undo and you can make the choice again. Okay. Then the payment process is the same as it's always been. We're only helping you choose whether to charge the customer the cash price or the card price. So you can choose the cash price and then check out on a card. That's really important for a business when they first start out because they may have a lot of customers that are used to old pricing. And they can say, hey, for, for this time, you're going to get the, the cash price. And then you check them out with the card. And then you can tell them, hey, next time, just so you know, we're moved to dual pricing, right? So it's an easy transition, and it's facilitated by being able to choose the price. So you can choose the cash price and check out with card, okay? So just so you know that, that's how the checkout process works, okay? Now, after you check out, you know, really, this is just standard, and then you're back on the, the, the dining app or the uh, register, okay? Now, again, if you have more than one Clover, you're going to tap on the Cash Pro on every single Clover device. And when you do so, it's going to pop up that box asking, choose, please choose cash card always. And you're going to choose cash card always on each device and you'll be complete with the setup. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Have a great day.